Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BTV6. Uh, let's continue uh, with the new expert map, Bloody Valley. Right now I'm going to show you chimps and uh, uh, I'm going to try to give you as many tips as possible to reduce RNG so that uh, your run can be a black border uh, run and you can get the black medal. Uh, as hero I'm going to go with the new one, a Abrikel. Uh, I think in this map uh, going with a water based strategy is just the best. So your best options are Brickle or also Pat. Pat also works very nicely in this uh, map. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's just go. So um, the the start of this map uh, it's uh, pretty pretty easy. Uh, you m depending exactly on how you place this up, you may lose uh, round six or you just uh, may be able to survive. So uh, it's just. Uh, that uh, there isn't a perfect spot. Like you just need to worry about placing this up not too close towards the left, leaving two units of range from the beginning of the path. Uh, and then at the end of round six, um, like 99% of times you're gonna need to place another sub to pop those balloons that may be able to get past. Uh, so uh, yeah, that may happen. So you may lose in round six, uh, but remember it's just the first round so you just need to restart try to place the sub maybe slightly different and many times the darts by turning in the air are not gonna pop the correct loons and uh, yeah that may happen so now this uh, second sub as you saw that I placed at the end of round 6 is very important placing it uh, so that once again you're not placing it too close to the left you're covering the beginning of the path and also very important you're not touching this second line. You can see that there is one line, there is another one. So you don't want to touch that second line with the range of the sub. Um, and that's it. Because uh, after this uh, round six, right, uh, every other round is going to be easy until the last uh, like uh, five rounds in uh, the gameplay. So round 95, 6, 97, 98, and 99. Um, now the next thing to do is place Brickle, of course. Um, now for her placement, you're gonna look at the side of the ship. You can see this thing in the in the lateral portion of the ship. You wanna place her closer to the left up here, so that this line, right on the water, uh, cuts this portion of the ship exactly in half. All right, that's what you're looking for. And that is going to be a very good measure the, uh, on the on the sub. So you want to place her so that this sub is in her range. So look at this closer to the left. You can see that that line is cutting in half her ship. Um, right there, right? You could see it right there. So just set her too strong, and uh, uh, boom, that's it. Uh, this is going to be important because as you're going to then get this sub four zero one, you're going to be able to cover her with uh, with the sub range and so you're gonna be able to reduce by 15% her abilities uh, cooldown so um, that's why it's this positioning it's important and also because in this way you're gonna uh, be able to then place some towers up here uh, and uh, yeah now next is uh, Buccaneer now you can see that there is still the line of the water here going up then he returns uh, left you're going to place the Buccaneer so that the tip of the, uh, the boat just follows the line exactly in the center. So you can see that the tip of the Buccaneer is exactly following this line here, right, see? Uh, then once you can place the Buccaneer, just move it slightly close towards the left and then move it closer towards the bottom. Just like that. It's just a little bit. And, uh, and then as double check, what you can do is you can see if you can actually place a sub here. If you can place a sub here, then that's perfect. Uh, and uh, then here, uh, Buccaneer 010. And yeah, here we go. So that's the that's the start. Uh, this is a very nice start because uh, by getting this Buccaneer 010, then 110, and then 210, you're gonna be able to destroy all those balloons in the early rounds. Um, you're not gonna even need to use Brickle's abilities other than in round 23 just to make sure that you can like pop everything you don't have any RNG 
um, and uh, the Buccaneer has very nice range. Now, why am I placing these towers in the top? For a very simple reason. This turn right here, you can see that it's sharper, and this one also is sharper than this one and this one. So a tower placed right here can cover less of the path than a tower placed right here, because uh, these turns are just tighter, so you can cover more of the path. So um, for that very, very simple reason, uh, I just gonna place my main defenses in this top side because they're gonna be able to cover a larger portion of the path and uh, more path means more damage for longer time and that's just all I want. So round 22 it's easy now just getting this up to submergent support for round 24 for the camo balloon. Uh, round 23 here is when you need to be careful like you don't need to use Brickle's abilities so I'm gonna show you that you don't need to but just to make sure you know that no none of those yellow balloons or things can sneak past you know stuff like that I just recommend you to use it uh, then round 24 have the sub in submerge as soon as the camo balloon is popped then I place it back again to first and then I got this sub 301 uh, here we go the cool thing is that now it's not gonna do more damage when it's out of water because of the twin guns, but it's also going to enhance the Bluntonium reactor uh, damage rate. So uh, you're going to be able to also do more damage with, once you're going to get the Bluntonium reactor with twin guns. So it's not a wasted uh, upgrade. And then all these rounds, you don't need Brickle's abilities. It's gonna, these rounds are going to be very easy. I just got here the Buccaneer 220 for these lads. Uh, just making sure you know that uh, there is no RNG involved and uh, uh, you can always pop those uh, lead balloons other than with the mines and uh, the next one where uh, you don't need to use Brickle's abilities but I just uh, recommend you to use it is round uh, 31 uh, because there are these uh, all these you know pinks and you could see right there like a yellow balloon able to get past so you don't want to take any chances just use a level 3 and that uh, round 31 is going to be easy um, and then uh, round 32 should be able to get here the Bluntonium reactor here we go then once you can get this you're going to do more damage when the sub is in submerged once you get this upgrade plus remember the 15% cooldown on Brickle's abilities so just leave it in submerged you're going to be able to remove the camo from the balloons you're going to be able to pop them you're also going to be able to pop lads with uh, this uh, Bluntonium Raptor, so it's uh, just uh, better to leave it in submerged. And now placing uh, another sub here, closest to Brickle, closest to the left. Remember these positionings are very important because uh, then they're going to allow you to be able to place more subs. Here we go. Um, okay, zero, zero, 001 sub first. And then uh, zero, zero, 002. Now around 35, you're gonna use Brickle Servo 3 when the rainbows come out. So right now. Then sub 002. Uh, 102. And for around 36, after you can pop this first of these pinks, uh, should be able to get the sub 202. So now you can start exploiting this sub in the bottom, giving range, and uh, just attacking the balloons with, the, with this sub right there um, now just building the sub 203 more attack speed uh, don't worry about these lads even if you can pop them all with the mines you're gonna you also have the buccaneer up here you have the Bluntonio Raptor so don't worry about the balloons like getting closer to the top you're gonna always be able to pop them uh, hold on to Brickles over 3 because you need to use it for the round 38 for these lab balloons and these uh, zebras so here we go, that's why I used it in round 38. It should be back up in round uh, uh, 40 for the MOAB. So that's all that matters. And then here I'm gonna get the sub 204 AP darts. Um, you can see the subs. Now the darts gain more damage, more popping power, plus more damage against my plasmas. Here we go. Uh, round 40 just started and uh, get, uh, uh, use uh, Brickles World 3 and that's it for the MOAB and for the ceramics 
Uh, now, next uh, uh, big upgrade that I want is the sub commander. But uh, of course, to, to do so, I need enough defenses to survive until I can afford it. So I'm going to simply get here a destroyer, so a 320 Buccaneer. And also another thing is I'm going to stop building some subs 032. These subs uh, are going to be buffed. Once I get the sub commander, the ballistic missile is going to do double damage. But also uh, in this meantime, as I'm waiting to get the sub commander, their damage is going to be quite nice. Uh, these subs, the ballistic missile especially, has been hugely buffed in this last patch. Uh, now you're gonna, you're not gonna have any more unlimited range with the ballistic missile unless you also have advanced intel. Uh, but now you're gonna gain a lot of base uh, range with the sub once you get the upgrade. You can see here, you can see this large increase in range. Plus the fact that now the bottom path is gonna boost, it's gonna enhance the attack rate of the missiles. So you're gonna be able to fire more missiles. Uh, and uh, plus of course the damage that you get from twin guns and from herbo starts so it's it's very very nice and the uh, 032 subs are very strong plus of course uh, when you get the sub commander they're gonna do double damage so double uh, stronger now here just take a look at the sub commander range you're gonna place a sub right there right still in the sub range but as close as you can towards the top so uh, let's see here. I saw before that I, I was able to place sub here. Seems right there. All right, here we go. Uh, you don't need breakers abilities in all these rounds until round 52. So uh, don't worry about that. Leave these uh, 0 3 to subs in first. Uh, everything is in first other than uh, brickle. So it uh, should be quite easy. We got 032 sub and uh, and now this is the perfect example of why I think placing towers in the top is much better you can see how much of the path this sub is covering like from the beginning until down there so it's like half of the total path see instead the same sub placed down there would be able to cover from here until here so that's uh, less than half of the path so that's why I say uh, that placing towers in the top is better. Uh, all right, so that's your defenses set up. Next upgrade is sub commander. Uh, you're gonna need to use Brigas abilities in round 52 and then in round 54, um, and uh, and then you should be able to afford the sub commander before round 61 starts. So as you pop the BFP, uh, should be able to afford it. Uh, now, round 52, use Brickles abilities uh, when the bottom warp uh, enters in range of the sub, of the, the sub, so right now, alright? There are two warps coming out at the same time, so you're gonna have some towers attacking the bottom warp, some towers attacking the top one, uh, so it's a little messy, so just make sure of using the ability to reduce any RNG. Uh, be careful also about this warp, just go slow. Because sometimes some yellows can can sneak past so uh, and then round 54 when this pop against pops then is when you want to use uh, her level 3 once again and then that's it from now on you're gonna be able to survive without using Brickles level 3 uh, just uh, once again uh, go slow for this fourth ceramic uh, rush in round 55 especially the one from coming from the top and uh, um, yeah, remember when you go slow, it's like your towers have more accuracy. So um, you can just control better what's happening in the screen. Now, round 57, um, you shouldn't need a Brickle Servo 3, but once again, just I recommend you to have it ready in case you see any balloons, especially from the more bottom mobs coming out and getting very close to the end, just use it. So uh, sometimes, depending again on RNG, it may happen. So uh, just have the ability ready. Round 58 and 59 are quite easy. Now Brickle is level 10. So at the beginning of round 59, I'm gonna actually drop the mine, preparing for the BFP. Um, and here we go. 
uh, the camo lads in round 59 you don't have to worry because in the top you have the Bruntonium Raptor so you can pull those camo lads as they come out for these camo lads in the bottom you have the mines as you can see that can pop some of those camo lads even if they can manage to get closer to the top you're gonna then have the Bruntonium Raptor that's gonna be able to pop them so there are no there is no issue against uh, these uh, camo lads then here pop the BFB with the with the mine then use a level 3 and that should be the sub commander from 61 and now you're gonna have of course a ton more of damage with, uh, with the sub commander itself plus of course these two subs you can see the icon are now doing double damage with the ballistic missiles now round 62 uh, sorry round 63 it's one of those rounds where um, sometimes like out of nowhere you're gonna lose uh, so 99 times out of 100 you're gonna be able to survive just like this but sometimes uh, depending exactly on RNG and all the stuff you're gonna lose so once again as you did for round 57 you're gonna go slow and you're gonna have your finger ready on her level 3 if you see any balloons of the ceramics coming from the top right the ones that are coming down if you see any pinks any yellow balloons sneaking past this point right here all right and getting lower just use her level 3 all right so just look at this area pretty much and uh, um, have the finger ready it shouldn't happen like as I said before 99 times out of 100 you should be able to defeat this round without any issue but sometimes you know uh, luck is against you so you're gonna end up losing so just uh, be sure that uh, you go slow and you have the ability ready and then from round 65 on I can start going faster because here you can afford the uh, Buccaneer 4 2 0 and then by having the aces that go around they're gonna do global damage uh, they're gonna shoot the uh, anti moab missiles um, and yeah, it's gonna be a lot, lot easier to survive so here we go And the next upgrade I'm gonna get is the flagship itself. So um, it's gonna, of course, uh, make the aces uh, do more damage, but uh, it's gonna allow me also to place towers in the in the top of the uh, on the deck on the decks, right? They're called yeah upper decks, uh, and especially like land towers. So towers that normally you wouldn't be able to place, uh, you can place. And then it's gonna also very importantly increase the attack speed of all water based towers. So, subs and also Brickle. So, it's a very, very nice combo. Uh, and, um, and this uh, um, passive ability, so this increase of attack speed, does not have any limit in terms of range. It's not like, for example, the sub commander is gonna only uh, buff the subs in the radius. Is this uh, passive increasing attack speed is gonna um, affect all water based towers in the whole screen? So, even the ones that are gonna be not in range of the Buccaneer. Uh, now, in these rounds, once again, to reduce RNG, uh, I'm gonna use Brickle Server 3 for round 76 and for round 78 for the ceramic rushes. Once again, like 90% of times. Uh, you're gonna be able to survive those rounds without any problem even if you don't use the ability but uh, sometimes you may you may lose so because you don't want to have any chances uh, I just recommend you to use Brickles Robo 3 and uh, uh, yeah that's gonna be it Um, so uh, yeah, don't take any chances and use a Brickles over 3 for those ceramic rushes so uh, you know 100% they're gonna be able to survive and uh, yeah, that's just better so the only difficult part of uh, this strategy if I have to say is uh, the last uh, nine like eight rounds so from round 93 until round 99 or 98 um, because it's when you're gonna need to use Brickle's abilities in the correct order and with the correct timing because uh, um, not doing so is gonna 
uh, result in a sure loss. So if you don't use a level 10 fast enough or if you don't use a level 3 in the correct timing, you're going to end up not having it back up when you really need it and you're going to lose. So it's going to be very important uh, following the, the correct timings and uh, yeah, I'm going to try to explain to you as much as possible. So uh, using level, a break level 3 for round 76 as you saw, then also for the first ram crash round 78 and I'm also going to use it for the second one, uh, not taking any chances. Um, all right. At the end of round 78, you should be able to afford the uh, 520 Buccaneer. There we go, Brico level 3. When you see the ceramics coming up, just use it. And here we go. That's the Kyrak flagship. Nice. Uh, and you can see now the buff icon of extra attack speed affecting all water based towers everywhere they might be placed. Right now is when I'm gonna remove all the store because uh, this is when you're gonna start placing as many 0 3 2 subs as possible. And remember, positioning is important because the closer you can place them to one another, the more you're gonna be able to place uh, closer to the path and uh, uh, the more damage you're gonna be able to do with them. So uh, the range is large, but uh, it's not infinite, so uh, you don't want to really place them too far away from the path. So let's build that one up here, right? Let's start around 80, it should be easy. Uh, and then let's build also another one down there. So I'm going to try to build uh, like some subs in the top and then some subs in the bottom. So I can like have uh, damage in both sides of the map. Alright, here like this should be fine here we go now super SRAMs but it doesn't really matter you're gonna see that there will be no um, no difference between like before round 80 and after round 80 with this strategy only in the last uh, in the last rounds it's gonna be a little harder but other than that so uh, now when you place these subs you're gonna of course place them in range of the side commander because that is gonna mean double damage but then another thing that you're looking for is you're trying to place these subs in range of Brickle. And why is that? Because uh, in that way, when you use level 3, you're going to be able to boost as many subs as possible. And now, when she's going to hit level 16, she's going to gain um, uh, more range. You can see here, range is going to be increased. So if I remember correctly, if I place another sub down there, it may not be in range right now. Uh, but then as she's going to turn level 16, it's going to be in range. So uh, that's why I'm going to place another sub right there. Because it's to the bottom and uh, to the left. Because it's to the top, sorry, and to the left. Right there, all right? Seems out of range right now, but then as she's going to turn level 16, it's going to be in range. So that's all I want. Um, now if you keep on placing subs as I'm doing, so as soon as you have enough cash, you then place, you take your time and you place the subs, you're going to be able to uh, save your abilities until around 87. Of course you can use them, like in round 84, around 85, you can use the abilities but it's not needed uh, because you're going to already have enough damage with your subs to deal with uh, those runs. So here once again, just trying to place as many subs as possible in range of one another. So to the top and then towards the left. Now in this case, I'm just building them here following this line. All right. I'm going fast here because I, I know that uh, the damage that I do is enough. Uh, right here, all right. Nice. 86. Go. No more cash. And uh, yeah, next round, round 87, remember to use uh, her level uh, 3 uh, because you have uh, like uh, especially these two Zomagats coming up and then you have one coming down. So just use her level 3 when this top Zomagat pops. Uh, once again, just to make sure not having any chances, any RNG of uh, having any balloons sneaking past. 
uh, then here we are the 10th the sub and now for round 90 so when the DTs are gonna come out you're gonna have at least 12 of these subs 0 3 2 around so if you count here have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so I'm gonna need to build uh, this one and then one more and uh, and that's gonna be important because uh, once you build the 12 of these 0 3 2 subs you're gonna start building something else uh, because you're gonna need to start changing slightly your strategy you're gonna need to start using more vehicles abilities and um, so you can't waste any more the the cash on these subs because you're gonna need like a sabo you're gonna need a glue gunner and uh, yeah um, now DDTs are the uh, the weakness of this strategy because uh, uh, DDTs have camo properties uh, then lead balloons properties and also black balloons properties so with the ballistic missiles you can damage those DDTs uh, with the darts you can damage those DDTs so you're gonna be able to damage those DDTs only with uh, brickle mines and with the uh, with the plutonium reactor and with the carbon fracture so you need always 100% to use brickle servo 3 whenever the DDTs are coming out so I'm waiting here for the first one in the top and let's use it here we go uh, and uh, and yeah that's the most important thing remembering to use Rico Servo 3 in every DDT round so around 90, 93, 95 and 99 you're always gonna need a level 3 otherwise the DDTs are gonna be uh, not damaged fast enough by the mines or by the Buccaneer or by this um, uh, Bluntonium Reactor and you're gonna lose so uh, that's the most important thing that you need to remember in these last rounds and here I'm gonna place a glue gunner right zero one two and then zero one three when I see when I have enough cash uh, now because in round 93 there are more DDTs you can use Rigas level 3 in round 92 so you're gonna end up needing to use a level um, 10 and use it when you have 1.2 thousand cash uh, so just drop it you know right there when it's available and wait uh, I don't know why it didn't drop but um, yeah here me I'm a risk losing yeah I did uh, I don't know why like I dropped it and then uh, it, it wasn't dropped so it was super weird but uh, yeah if you drop it when you have that amount of cash so 1.2 thousand then you get the glue gunner 0 2 3 should be should be fine uh, here I'm gonna get a uh, ninja. I'm gonna just place it. So close this tier to the top, to the right. Should do enough damage. So, so should attack more class balloons. And then here I'm gonna also get this um, sub submerge. So this is another thing that I recommend you to do uh, because this is gonna remove the camo status from the DDTs. So at least you're gonna be able to maybe damage them a little bit more. Um, so one. And then using Brickles over 3 when uh, that uh, second BFP is popped, right? Then after the BFPs are being, have been destroyed, uh, then just place this sub back again on first, right? Because otherwise you're not going to do any damage. So 1, 2, a 3. And then I'm also going to just place a sub here. Should be in range of Brickle. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, almost, I don't know. Anyway, in round 94, you're gonna use level 10 and level 3. Um, so you're gonna use a level 10 when you have about 10% of a level 3 cooldown remaining on the top of my guts. Remember, always you're gonna use a level 10 on the top of my guts. So drop it. See that there are some spots where I can't drop the mine. So it should be right now, yeah. And then use level three as soon as it's off. Uh, get uh, the sabo right in the round, and uh, uh, yeah, that should be it. So prepare here again the sabo in submerged for a 95, and uh, uh, yeah, you should have sabo and uh, the mine and then level three back up again before the DDTs come out. So it should be easy. Just get this uh, sub 031. 
Uh, okay, so Sabo, all right. Level 10, very important here in the middle. And then level three right now, all right? So don't use a level three as soon as it's off cooldown. Just wait a couple of seconds because in that way, you're gonna be able to have it up um, until the last uh, uh, DDTs are uh, popped. So now here I'm gonna just build two more subs, ceiling range of Brickle. So one should be right here. Uh, this should be in range, yeah. And uh, I'm gonna build in another one and then the last one. So here once again, it's the it's the same matter. Uh, just place um, run 96. The Domegas are gonna come almost at the very end, so you can. Uh, actually get another sub in the round All right before you need to use any abilities you can start upgrading it and you can see that now the zombie guys are coming out so you're gonna use a level uh, 10 as fast as possible and uh, uh, then with the balloons approach here the center just use her level uh, 3 and that should be enough and now the last of these subs I'm gonna place it right the there. Uh, do I have enough room somewhere? Uh, Ceiling range of the sub commander, though. Yeah, it's pretty far away, though. And yeah, maybe here is better. Okay. And this is the last sub that you want to play. So this is going to be the 16th sub, right? And you're gonna just get it zero three one, uh, because otherwise you're not gonna have enough cash to then get first strike ability for round one hundred. So just get it zero three one. And uh, round ninety seven, use Sabo as soon as it starts. And then you're gonna use a Brico level ten for this top of fortified uh, zombie god. Here we go. Um, and then you should be able to destroy everything. And don't use a level 3 for these bottom balloons because you should be able to destroy them as they get closer here to the top. Uh, run 98, uh, it's very simple. You're going to use a level 3 very quickly. When you see the second Zamagat coming out, that's when you want to use it. And then you want to use also a level 10 as soon as it's up on the top balloons. And that's going to be it. It seems uh, a little scary, but it's going to be quite easy. So second Zamagat turning. So right now, level 3. Right, and then as soon as it's ready, level 10, right now, and here we go. Uh, you don't uh, uh, need to use Sabo, and don't use Sabo because you need it for a 99. Uh, you should have your abilities recharge as you destroy these last 45 balloons. Um, and uh, yeah, here the glue gunner should really help at uh, slowing down map class balloons and, uh, uh, so that you can clear up everything. So uh, yeah, just like that. And right 99 here, use uh, uh, Sabo. And then use a level uh, three. It should be back up as you can see. So Sabo, level three. And then uh, um, yeah, should have enough cash to get first trick capability. Here we go. And uh, that's what you're gonna use. So you can see the BD right here. Um, when the BD is gonna turn left, um, just look here at the amount of damage on the BD. When you see these things disappearing, that means that you have done enough damage to the BD. So right uh, now. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and see ya. Bye bye.